Why is my basement so cold in the summertime? Oh my God, I get this question all the time. And the funny thing is, this is a really common issue. And if you have a house that's like a two-story house with a basement and your heating cooling system is located inside the basement, I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why your house might be freezing in the basement in the summertime and really warm upstairs in the summertime. I was in a house last week, perfect example, built in the early 80s, and it's a two-story house with a full basement, right? And it only has one heating and cooling system. And the issue was, in the basement, this house was built with what's called panned-in return ducts where the builder used wall cavities and floor cavities as part of the return air part of the system. Now, this is super common in the Midwest. It's common in other parts of the country, but it's actually not allowed in certain parts of the country because of how leaky the ductwork is and how inefficient it is at moving air. Now, in this particular house, I found that there was a big gap, a big disconnection between where the return side trunk line, the main part of the ductwork that pulls the air back to the equipment, where that trunk line was supposed to connect into the wall cavities above, there was actually like a one and a half to two inch gap where the ductwork was never actually connected. So what it ended up happening was when the heating cooling system runs, it basically just pulls air from the basement all the time. It just pulls air from the basement primarily, a tiny bit comes from the first floor and virtually none of the air from the second floor is pulled back down to the basement and circulated through the air conditioning system to cool it back down. So that's why the basement basically just stays cold and it just repeats this cycle. So it's a relatively simple fix that would have been very easy to fix when the house was originally built. But now because of drywall that's installed in the basement and ductwork that's underneath the connection to even get to these things, you would have to remove drywall to fix this properly. And frankly, I think it's worth it because the only alternative really is to install a second heating and cooling system up in the attic to try to cool that second floor down because Frankly, air sealing and insulating this house in particular, I don't think is going to do enough to make a big enough difference. Open up the drywall in the basement, go through the ductwork from the underside, reconnect these connections uh, from the return trunk line into the wall cavities, and then you're gonna be pulling a lot more air down from the second floor. Another common reason why you might have a, a hot second floor in your house in the summertime is because of restricted airflow through your duct system. In this particular house, you also had that situation going on where they were using high efficiency, you know, these electrostatic allergen reduction air filters that was just completely choking the system's airflow. And when airflow gets restricted, the efficiency of the system drops, the uh, ability for the system to cool or heat the building evenly drops, and it just increases the static pressure in the heating cooling system. The other thing that I did on this particular house was I did a pressure differential test to, to see how bad it really was. So this test basically is me taking a pressure gauge and a hose and running the hose under the door between the basement and the main floor of the house. So what I did was I turned the heating cooling system on, ran the hose under the door, shut the, the door to the basement, and I got a pressure difference. And on this particular house, it was an 11 Pascal pressure difference. Now, what you wanna see is as close to zero as possible, meaning that there's equal pressure on every floor in between every bedroom and common area, so that the same amount of air that's going into these spaces has the same amount of air coming out of these spaces. So you have equal temperature distribution throughout the house. But the pressure gauge showed an 11 Pascal pressure difference, negative in the basement, which verified what I was seeing visually with the disconnected ductwork. It was basically saying that all the air in that system on the return side is coming out of the basement. It's not coming from the first floor and it's not coming from the second floor. So if you have the situation in your house, check the return side ductwork, make sure that these connections are sealed. And if you need further help, shoot me a comment. See if, I'll see if I can help you remotely or find another uh, contractor locally who can do this kind of test and verify whether or not you have disconnected ductwork or if there's something else that might be going on in your house. Hope this helps. If you liked it, shoot me a comment at the bottom or share it with somebody you think it might help you and I'll see you on the next one.